Hey, what's up? This is Steve from Requiem. We're hanging out with Rob from PunkVideosRock.com. Let's talk a little bit about Re your new band, Requiem. Tell me a little bit about it. We started, well, the, this lineup with Requiem started about a, a year ago. We, we were called Requiem for the Dead before, which was a completely different lineup, different music, and it was more, it was more done for fun, to be honest. Like, we weren't really, like, really looking to tour what at all like we play local shows here and there maybe go to LA and come back but it wasn't like there's was no interest at all to tour or be like you know become some big band and That's interesting. yeah it's it, it was more things to do on our free time and then we started Requiem and it kind of got kind of snowballed into something bigger we just got signed to Cleopatra which is a subdivision of Universal and uh, you know we got the album in stores everywhere and the video came out and we kind of like wow let's just do this you know yeah see what happens so we decided to start you know got the tour van got the merch you know get, get on the road and start touring we've this is our first like tour we did a short little tour with Calabrese uh, uh, in January which was only for like a week so uh, it's kind of getting our feet wet still mm -hmm. I mean but you've been touring all your life almost like I'm sure this was like easy breezy to get yeah, back this into is, this is nothing <laughs> I've I mean in the height of I am ghost I that we were touring 300 days a year yeah. like literally um, never home so to do a, a nine nine or ten show run is is absolutely a breeze especially when it's just the west coast and we're like all, all good weather there's yeah. no snow no rain so we're stoked that's true and, and that was quick with the with the record label how did all of that come together so fast like it doesn't even seem like you were even trying to get signed. We I'll be completely honest uh, again uh, the luck of the Italian I call it because I I uh, the, the album was we did the album ourselves and we were really going to just put it out kind of ourselves and then labels started hearing it through the grapevine because they were sending, submitting it to, for management and agents and Cleopatra heard it and they contacted us and said we want to work with you guys and we actually had offers from other labels legit labels as well um, and we were we were like wow this is this is insane let's do it you know so especially when you get full major label distribution that's really what gets you to the next levels because people like in Europe, Australia, Mexico, Brazil, or all over the U.S. or Canada can find it. That's the main main thing. So they're able to find it. We're still brand new. Like I consider our, you know, some of the members in this band have only played maybe, you know, under 20 shows with us like ever. So, uh, you know, they're young. They're, you know, 19 to 25. So it's like we're stoked. We're, we're, we're excited and we're, you'll see, we definitely still have that energy that people love Divine Ghost. I think it's something that is something special. You just got to see us and hear the new album. I, th I think it'll, you know, you'll dig it. What would you say the album sounds like though? Is it a little bit like I Am Ghost or what would it be? I think you can't deny my voice because it's just, that's the, it's the way I sound. Um, it's definitely a little harder yet a little poppier. We have songs that are like radio, obviously, but then we have songs like Sale of the Devil and uh, Coma and uh, Tall Tales of Remission. Vermicious Canid, and uh, they're way more aggressive than I Am Ghost ever did. Um, with the girls, with uh, you know, Kareth and I Am Ghost, and then we have Jacqueline now in Requiem. There definitely is the, the girl guy singing back and forth thing, which is what you know, I Am Ghost used to do. Lyrically, it's changed. I Am Ghost was more epic, um, kind of like rock opera, you know, things that you know, vampires and angels and battles of you know, souls, where this is more like kind of realistic things that happen in people's lives maybe maybe things people can more relate to mm -hmm. so and I wanted to do that I think I Am Ghost was a, a a trial we just wanted to see if bands nowadays in our genre in 2005 can still do big epic albums like Queen did and you know bands did in the 70s that yeah. don't no one does it anymore and we tried it and I think I it's funny because we still listen to the album and it's it's so timeless and it's like I listen to what bands are doing now. It's almost like we're ahead of our time, which is kind of, like, I'll say that because it's very true. Like there's bands doing what we're doing now. Yeah. We did back, you know, in 2004, you know, five and six. So that's true. That's true. Yeah. it just goes full circle in it a does. way. And it's kind of coming back now. So that's, that's cool. And speaking of coming back, what was that little teaser that we, we all kind of witnessed on Twitter not that long ago? Yeah, we were basically like, all I can say is that I am ghost is reuniting. Um, for a few shows, we don't know if it'll be one or two or three or ten or twenty. We don't know yet, but um, it's gonna be it's gonna be one show. We got we got the date, but I can't say it because I'm not allowed to announce it. Um, but um, 
it's going to be amazing and it's going to be a lot of the uh, original members and a lot of the guys off those will be behind and uh you know it's definitely all the members from i am ghost is not going to going to hire outside people that weren't in the band to play guitar that, uh, that'd be kind of weird man i like, hate that when it's like a reunion show and you and three of the members aren't weren't even in the band you know it's kind of just a singer i don't want to we that's why it's taken so long to do this reunion because there were there were possibilities in the past to do i am ghost shows with like three or four of the members or two of the members um, but I just didn't want to do that. It was either going to be all the original members or nothing, you know. And um, a lot of the other guys are also in all are all in different bands. You, you got guys in Falling in Reverse. You got you know Ronnie <coughs> Ficaro is in a band called Jameson, and Justin's touring like all over Europe with Cameron. And uh, Timmy's doing a bunch of bands, so it's like everybody's busy. So it was it was tough to juggle it, you know. And I heard all these rumors like, oh, they don't get along. They all hate each other. And I, we all laugh about it because we we actually were just all on the phone doing a three uh, uh, conference call and you know it's funny how people talk and it's just none of us ever really hated each other it was just it was more so like we broke up and it was you know and like all breakups it, you know yeah. p people talk and then it's, and then time heals all wounds and we're over it we just want to now it's now it's time just to play some shows and you know have some fun now if, if the opportunity came to do the whole world tour like you guys were doing before is it something that you'd be down to do um, you know, it depends if Requiem is having anything going on. I told my band, you know, I Am Ghost is definitely something important to me, but Requiem is a priority. Mm -hmm. Just because we have the new album out <clears throat> and we're brand new, we got a pair of dues. But um, we'll see. After this tour with Requiem, do you guys have any other plans as far as more tours or? Yeah, we're actually uh, in negotiations for more tours right now. We're just not really able to say anything right now, mm -hmm. so we'll see. All right. Well, we should announce soon. It just takes time to figure out if all the bands can do it and all that. So I want to announce more stuff, but it, I'm also a believer in not, you know, doing it too soon without being yeah. confirmed. That's true. That's true. Well, it's definitely a pleasure running into you again, man. Yeah, like, it. it's been long way long so long. long. If you guys didn't know, they kind of pretty much started out here at Chain Reaction, and so did I. This is where it all started. Back in 2005. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's, uh, I can't believe it's been 10 years. It's yeah. crazy, you know. It's crazy. That's nuts, man. That's nuts. Well, be sure to check out Requiem on tour now. Also, uh, stay tuned for more info on I Am Ghost. Be sure to subscribe to Punk Videos Rock, and thanks for watching, guys.